parents of children who are using Google Classroom, some quick tips and guidance for you on using Google Classroom. Um, here I am using the Chrome browser on a laptop. Um, could be a PC or a Mac or indeed a Chromebook. Uh, we'd recommend you use Chrome uh, because your children are using Google logins to get in. And you'll see in the top right here, I've actually logged directly in as a pupil who I've got permission to use this account on. And so you can log directly in in the top right and that will make your life much easier. Even if you're not using Chrome, it should still be working for you and you can download this app for a smartphone. So we'd recommend if that's possible to you to do that as well. So I'm gonna go in from school website. Um, school websites all have this child login button over there so let's click through there and we'll see that we go straight in uh, you may get a shot that looks like that and of course down here is where you would click and then select your child's name okay so you'll get into here and here is Classroom, Google Classroom. And I've only gone in that way just to show you that you get access to all the other services that your school's offering. But if I go into Google Classroom, it should load up and it will show me the classes I've got available. Now, you've probably just got access to one, probably. I've put an extra mock one on here, an Aspire class. And I can see here in the stream, there's a quick message here from the teacher. And over in Classwork is where we would see our task and I've got a couple of mock um, assignments as they're called in here up here. So I'm going to click on one of those and I'm going to see that there are some instructions there and here's a piece of work for me to complete. I can click down here on view assignment which will take me in a little bit further and I see the instructions again. I can see that there's a, a link here actually to a video to do with the lesson. So you might get some links like that to click on or tap on. And over here, there's a private comment section where I could send a little message to the teacher and the teacher would um, get alerted to that comment being there. So if you want to open that line of communication with the teacher through there is one way to do it. Um, so up here, I'm going to click on this document and you can see here it's a piece of maths work two pages and well there's a few ways you could complete this I mean uh, what schools want to do is open up as many options to you as possible so a child might work from the screen onto paper with this completing the questions on paper um, if you've got a printer and you're that way inclined and you want to print this stuff off you can there's a print button up here We'll get you there um, but we've also added um, a little feature here you see it says open with cami and if you don't see open with cami there you may see it under here annotate with cami um, and if you don't see anything at all you're going to need to go here to the cami extension and you'll see a button here to install it but Back to here. So this thing, Cami, will essentially allow us to complete certain work on screen. And of course, there's an advantage there um, if you don't want to be printing things out and also because it's really quite a direct way to access the work. So we're going to click this button, open with Cami. In fact, let's click this one to show it works. Annotate with Cami, same thing. And you'll see it takes us in here. Um, now on here, just to point out a couple of options, over here, basically these are tools so that you can add things to this document. So I'm gonna click on drawing there and I'm gonna show you that I might complete questions like that. And if I scroll down, I'm gonna show you that the child might complete questions by uh, clicking to insert text let's just do that again I think I do that there we go so I can complete the work 
on the screen if that's the way I want to do it now have a look up here it says saved so that means that this is saving as it goes along uh, so you don't need to worry about saving it if it's in here and you see this saved button um, the first time you use this thing called Kami you may see a few screens like this um, it just needs uh, you to click a button to allow access to this extension okay so click those allow buttons there's one for google drive as well and then in the end we're hoping you've got a tool there which might be of some use to you okay so that's saved once the child's completed work have a look up here there is a button let me just highlight that that says turn in now if your teacher has set uh, multiple bits of work within one assignment like maths and English and science a word of warning you may want to wait until you've done all of those bits before you press turn in but in this case it's a single assignment for maths so if I click turn in when I'm finished and again that means that the teacher is going to see that that work has been completed okay so it gives me an option yeah yeah I'm gonna hand it in and so that's being handed back to the teacher if you wanted to go back and adjust things you can click on this unsubmit and again if you are confused if you need help from teacher you can put um, comments in here that are private okay so the comments you write there will go just to the teacher you don't need to worry they will not be going to the rest of the children in the class okay that is about it I appreciate everyone in um, the schools appreciates that parents are um, grappling with these new tools possibly and it will take people a little while to get used to them uh, to work out how things go but we would advise you to um, Use the devices you've got. Not everyone's got access to as many devices as others. Everyone's got very different circumstances. Um, but we are here to support you with that. And um, we are hoping to be able to make this as accessible as possible for you.